up up here this is my little test for the windows so this is what I was making with the 3d printer I'll just to try and get the right curve for the window I should have in hindsight made them a lot wider because it would have made them easier to key together but yeah, I've made them like that and, I'm, and I've got to make a new bow sprit from scratch. So when when I do in here, I've just been using that to to get it in the fiddly bit. And then I've got like a little bucket of acetone to clean everything off after every time I do a wipe. I do that so I can get into the corners easy because the scraper handle is too big. And I'm just using normal carbog from super cheap because it's polyester and it's just easy to mix little bits at a time. And I sand as I go, like I'll, I'll sand it as soon, like I'll do another spot now and then I'll, I'll, I'll bog it and then I'll sand this while it's only just off and it, it comes off real easy. And then when it gets really hard, I, I go over it a bit nicer, just, if if I keep doing if I keep on top of it it doesn't make it a big job and once I do the high build which is a epoxy high build I can't use the polyester bog car filler stuff because it won't adhere to the epoxy properly and I know that from doing it in the past it if, if even if you just do little fill up bits it looks fine but after about two years it lifts up in that that spot that you do and i make all different block sizes to get into all the fiddly areas and then that's so i can go against a corner like that this is so nice and easy I still need to do another anchor. Uh, I still need to do another power sprit, but just for something easy and I'm still making progress. Cause this, I've been doing an hour here and there, but it's, it's relaxing, it's therapeutic. I knew this was a bad idea. I'm gonna get rid of it.
So I put the three mil melamine as a spacer, so it's got a nice gap around the hatch when you open it up, it's gonna be a bit tight. Okay, so it's is a bit rough looking, but it's only a hatch holder. It's only a ledge for a hatch. And everything I've done, I, I figure I can sand it out all right. What a beauty. My electrical tape fillets. <laughs> and then I'll put some gel coat on it, wait for it to tack off. And then probably put a little bit more on and then put some fiberglass on it. My tape fillet didn't work out so good there on the tight bends. So that's three layers now, it's the next day. Yes, I'm getting hardly anything done a day. So that's just the first go at, at getting it down because I need to get this down enough so that this will sit in here. Um, I've left that ledge there so I can do it uniform with the router. So that was a waste of time doing that. I should have measured a bit better. I need to pretty much take it down all the way so I'm just gonna cut it away with the jigsaw and then at least it'll still have this lip here that I'll fade into the thing that I've made.
I'm an idiot. I should have made this hatch go out and start curving here. It makes it so much harder to um, fold that bit down to be strong. <laughs> So I haven't made any videos lately because I haven't got that much done. 